It's the thing that the rest of the world have been telling black people to do for so long. Stop complaining. Pick yourself up yeah. and get on with it. Yes. And I'm saying to black people, stop complaining. Pick yourself up and get on with it. And people are like, oh, what are you doing? It's like, isn't this what you asked for? Like, is yeah. this what you've been telling us to do? When I say that I'm progressively back, black, yeah, a lot of people hear that I'm like, oh my, like people that are non-black feel, oh my God, what does that mean? What are you trying to do? You trying to kill people? It's like, no, like yeah. I don't need to do, I'm just saying I want other black people to help. And the thing is, it's actually, I'm jumping in and out, but yeah, go. it's the thing that the rest of the world have been telling black people to do for so long. Stop complaining, pick yourself up yeah. and get on with it. Yes. And I'm saying to I black agree. people, stop complaining, Pick yourself up and get, get on with it. And people are like, oh, what are you doing? It's like, isn't this what you asked for? Like, is yeah. this what you've been telling us to do? Yeah. You've been telling us to do for ourselves and stop complaining. I'm telling black people, let's do for ourselves and stop complaining. Just like the Chinese do, the Asians do. Like, yeah. everyone else does it. They stop complaining. They just do for themselves. People can look and have any kind of opinion about it whatsoever. Yeah, yeah. But we got to start doing for ourselves. It's true. On that, mm. I want to bring back to dating. Mm -hmm. part of us doing for ourselves is choosing the right people to build with yes do you think that in the black culture in the west mm -hmm. that black women choose the street guy over the office guy or do I would, you I would say generally there's a lot of women in the West that have this. Because it seems to be those who are, who are role models are, because mainly most, most of black people's role models come from the hip hop culture and. Or sports or something. Or like sports. That. Right. And there's nothing wrong with that, but we don't have enough. We don't have enough Barack Obama's. We don't have enough Kevin Samuels or people who are, uh, to be fair, I guess Kevin doesn't, he has a family, but he's like, it's not like a nuclear family example, but we don't have enough role models, someone who would be like Bill Gates or someone who would be my P. Diddy. We don't have enough role models that support building the nuclear home mm. that arguably is the foundation for why any society or any group of people is successful. That's right. Does that make sense? Yep. And maybe it's because I'm a guy, but I think because generally it's women who do the choosing, of men. Of men. Right. It's like... Are they choosing wrong? Is what you're saying? Are they choosing the wrong type of guy? Well, if that's what we're aiming to, mm. are they are they choosing the guy who leads to that? Um, <laughs> or what's been your experience? I think... <laughs> I had... Um, I had an interview with ZZ Mills. Yes. She's great. And she said, yeah, she's a good girl, man. And she said... Women want a man with an edge. I honestly believe that that is the, that those type of guys, a lot of women don't want those guys. So why what do those guys, why not? What do those guys look like? But they, the, the, so the women, like my, one of my exes said this to me, he was like, there are men out there that are not gonna cheat, but the, the fact of the matter is a lot of women don't want those men. Who are those men? Because those men, men? Are, why, why, those why men are, are the quiet men or the ones that you are like, oh, there's just something about him that I just don't, there's no too edge. Nice. He's, he's too nice, too nice. Right, or he's right, this right. or he's that. And oh yeah, it's just, there's no edge to him. And like when he walks into the room, he doesn't have no presence and da 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 da. So, so that's a woman problem then? Of course, of so course. So the woman are now making man cheat because he, because he wants an edge. Is that what you're saying? No. Do you know what This is the first You've got to get a man with edge now because he's got to cheat a little bit. No, I'm saying that there definitely are men that don't cheat, but those are not the women, those are not the the men that women go after naturally. <laughs> yeah. She said, women... Now, you can take or leave what she said. Yep. said but she said they want a man with at least a little bit of an edge. Yep. You don't want a square. A square obviously, squares have edges. But, I, I get you. But they want a man with a little bit of an edge. Yeah. And um, I think black men mm. in this society, the hyper aggressive man mm. has been substituted for what manhood actually is yes so in the hip hop world when you see the man toting the guns and the balaclavas and the chains and blah 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 that hyper aggressive man 
mm. is what has been substituted for what manhood is. For me, manhood yes. is someone who knows how to plan strategically, have a family, yeah. hold his family down, loyal, all those kinds of things. Yes. Those type of guys display more childlike qualities yeah. in my personal point of view, right? right? Yeah. But however, manhood is sold to the black community as childhood. Because mm. you do that shit in your childhood. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So manhood yeah. has been sold. So the childish man has been sold as what the man is. And then when these women get with those men and they act like children, they're like, oh my God, men are trash. It's like, yeah. no, you just got sold a dream. Now, now again, that's actually for us as black men to portray better images of what it is to be a man. Yes. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah, Kevin Samuels said this. He said that we we haven't we haven't controlled um the narrative of our media image. Exactly. And we need to. We need to start doing that. So even you can say what you want about Kevin Samuels. But yeah. he's a well put together man. Yeah. He's intelligent. Yeah. He's uh he's strong in his opinions. Mm. He's a leader. Yeah. That's what manhood is. You might not like it. You might think he's an arsehole. A lot of people, think, a lot of women think he's an arsehole. Yeah. A lot of the time, leaders are arseholes. Yeah. How do you think? What do you think? Bill Gates became a billionaire by not being an arsehole. Do you think? True. Because you got to make them decisions that other people won't make. Yeah. You got to start. You, nah, I ain't got time for that. Fuck that. No, nope, this has got to be done. Oh my god! Don't care about your feelings. Shit's got to get done. Very true. And that is what a leader does. That's why yes. people say they talked about Donald Trump or whatever. Yeah. Donald Trump was a leader. Yeah, yeah. I do you get that, that yeah, man true. was no nonsense. He told you exactly what he, he felt. He was a businessman. He was yeah. a businessman. How do you think he got so successful? Yeah. Women say they want that type of guy, a lot of women, mm. and then they say, oh, he's an asshole. Yeah. Or they don't know how to do it. It's like, your man is going to have a little bit of asshole to him. He's true. got to. Yeah, he's got to. You've got to get shit done.